Hello everyone, I hope you are doing good. My name is Ashutosh and today we are going to install Python in RHL 8. So whether you are using RHL 8 or CentOS 8, the installation process is going to be same but there are few shocks for you. So if you have been uh, more adhered to the process of using YUM then uh, you will be seeing some changes today. So I will show you what are the changes we have in the case of the RHL 8 or CentOS 8. So let's install our Python version 2 for now. So if you remember the old commands then the old commands were like first of all let me show you the version so as we can see it is RHL 8 and uh, if you remember the old commands then they were sudo yum install python and then we were sorted right so if we if we talk about the um the old commands then uh, few of them are still working and few of them will not work over here so if we talk about the python version 2 then this has been installed using the old commands but uh, not everything will be installed using old commands. So what are the new commands of installing it? So if you remember the way of checking yum version, then let's put one command over here and check what it shows us. So this will be some shocking stuff for you for now. If you are first time looking at it, so it is not yum version, it is some DNF reflecting over here. So what is the DNF now? You might be thinking, right? So basically, DNF is nothing special other than what is it? Dandified yum. So, what is dandified yum? So, basically, uh, it is a next generation yum which can be used for the installation and removal of the RPMs. So, everything is upgrading nowadays as we are upgrading from RHL 7 to RHL 8 so the yum version has been also upgraded now so rather than using um, yum process we can also use the DNF for example let me remove this particular version of python using DNF let's put the version over here so as we see this is the same version which is reflecting to us what we saw and the output of the yum command so basically it is the output of dnf what we see right now and uh, let's remove python 2 from this particular box and then we will use dnf to install the python 2 so the erase of python 2 has been done and let's edit using dnf command so as we can see the installation of the python 2 has been done so we can get inside the shell and we are sorted in this way